Alright guys, Steve here. In this video, I'm going to continue building my base. As you can see, I've deleted the horizontal ceiling tiles. And my base didn't collapse, so that's good. I've also put some more scaffolding in to build it this way. But before we do that... Let's go to the top. I shaved one uh, row of ceilings off this side just so I can put my railings in because if you build out another row then about here, here and here and here it won't actually place and I'd, I'd have to mess around with the foundations below so I thought it'd be easy just to delete a row so I'm going to have a little patio here, let's have it two tiles deep, up to here, so I can come out and look at the view. There we go. Alright. Let's have a glass front. Now, should I do it slow? Shall I square it off? Let's try it slow for now. Let's have windows here. So I can look at that side. Two tiles high, give me enough space. Same again. Where's the middle one here? Let's build. sound the high pitch right I want to that's the center hopefully if I don't that well it should be I would have done it right so gonna work which one's the right one that one's encroaching over let's do that one okay so next I want to connect these up Did I make a doorway? Yes, I did. Right, I need foundations there, so I'm gonna have to juggle around with that. It's right next to it. Let's start this side. Get more crystal to finish those. Right, so we're going to have a window there, and then a doorway here, and then more slopes across the top. Connect this up. And then that will be our inside view. Get a few walls.
Let's have that closed off. Nothing good to see here. So let's completely enclose that. Same there, but I might put a window in, see if uh, drops come down. Let's try that for now. I'm going to also put a landing pad for a drake. I might do one each side, like extend it that side and extend one that side. So when I can come up from mining, I can just park it on the side. But we are designing as we're going. Alright, let's dump that back in the vault. Continue building outwards. Because I want to work on the hatchery. Let's take those. Let's get that closer and let's unload this first. Don't want to carry extra metal around. There is a lot of wasted space, like I only need the base. Come on, keep going. High enough to cover the spino fin. So I could always build down a bit, like I could go down to maybe three tiles if I wanted to. But we're just in the designing stage at the moment. Just have a rough idea of what you want to do and design it as you go. That's what I do. Extend the jellyfish I was talking about yesterday. Its body. Go. I'm going to put an elevator in, uh, but that'll be later. So I'll just make a hole in the floor and wherever I'm going to put that. Plus, I want to do ramps, probably big enough to get a drake up. 
But again, that would probably be later. Just knock a hole in the floor. Right, that's all the ceilings we can do. Now let's add the pillars. Let's go on the spino. Game over burden. It's easy to build on a spino. So we can line up with a metal pillar I've already put. Remember, always build down from your main structure, like jellyfish, tentacles going down to the ground. things high up. There we go, now for the middle. Come on, you're going to let me on, you're just going to push me off. a row. Let's do it from a suicide down. Maybe I'm going to play. Right, that's the row going off. I'll post that one up. I'm gonna have to get a climbing pick out to destroy us. Let's just destroy that tree, shall we? There we go eventually. Is inside. Let's get some 
for more water before I run out. Room for vaults, bedrooms, and put a teleporter in. Let's look at my tech stuff. Uh, I could just put a teleporter in if I do it big enough, but I kind of want to do that on the ground. Tech generator eventually, feeding trough. Maybe tech replicator, but I can always build up. It's pretty tall. Cloning chamber, I'll keep that on Ragnarok. Well, build it. Alright, I think that's be big enough for my house, my living area. Now let's do a breeding area. Right, I want to do a central column. I think it might be just easier to just delete that and it'll fall through. Let's get rid of these rocks. Have to empty some of this out. Scaffolding. This one we're going to do different. On this, hopefully, I can get my idea of an incubation room working. and support. Is it going to collapse? Nope, nothing yet. Leaving that one there. Uh-oh. I hear a clatter. <laughs> I know what I do. A fuel drop down from there, from a centre. Yeah, that middle one will come down as well. should actually delete these, then fill in, so I don't waste ones. Note to self to do that next time. Only a couple have dropped down. When I saw the opening, I thought... If I have a ramp going up to there from this side so I could cut the ramp and then just walk up 
and from this side have a ramp going up that way. So when I come back, because the hunting ground's down there, when I come back from there. So anyway, let's get the scaffolding in. If you're too low, I'm fine at the moment, but you can start from the top and go across. Move a metal pillar. just since I built anything like this. Let's get the metal pillars if I've got any. Nope. So they're all connected. Got enough ceiling tiles. This time I'm leaving the centers open for my cunning plan. Jellyfish body down to the ground. the scaffold in. We 
We shouldn't have a clatter of metal at the moment. As we've learnt from before. Holes. around this base. Right. I'm going to have to work out how much space I actually need. But my plan is this. I'm going to put extra pillars down this centre here. Then from there I'm going to have these ha giant hatches. Okay? And in this centre I'm going to have air conditioners. Then when the eggs hatch and the babies come out I can open, the, I can press the keypad, open these hatches and instead of trying to kite the baby dinos out, they'll just drop to the floor below where there'll be feeding troughs. So no more messing about trying to guide them out of doorways before they grow up too quick. But what I need to do is try and judge where I can actually build. Let's have a go. Oh, that one's a bit skew in it. Right. I don't know which way the doors are going to open at the moment so I'm going to do one test. See that one jumps in as well. So I might need to rotate the door when I finally get there. Let's just put one in for now. Can easily make more. Well, let's do. Let's do a few. about jumping on top of her again. There we go. Right. I prefer it if the door open this side and that side. Like that. That'd be perfect. No, actually. Is that? Yeah, I think it is. Right. 
Yeah, that's fine. That's how I want it. Yeah, that again. Opens out like that. So we're going to have, again, the air conditioners along here with eggs each side. When the babies come out, I'll open the, press the keys in the keypad. These doors will open, in theory, and all the babies will fall down below. Do you like that idea? It's not bad, eh? I like it. My cunning plan. Hatchway is screwed, so let's delete it and redo it. Get away from your edge, let it fall down. a baby in the middle here it might get crushed by either door <laughs> now how many should I do two or should I do three each side I think three may be better in case I've got loads of eggs what do you think hmm now Should I? Hmm. Thinking about it. If I put ceilings down here to extend it to its three wide, then put the hatch, then I'll be able to hatch drakes up here as well. Let me have a think about that. Okay, for now, let's put the ceilings in. Uh, let's go there. Right, I need to do a centre. So I need to work out how I'm going to support it by the middle. do the drakes as well. Be a bit of a waste of metal. But I'm designing as I go. I'd have to go to the blue zone to get nameless to spawn but that's not that particularly hard so I can get venom to feed the drakes. I'll have a think about that. In fact, let me know in the comments below. Shall I leave it as a single thing and just hatch normal dinos from it? Or shall I extend it and make drakes hatch from it as well? Yeah, I'll come back to that. Let's carry on. Scaffolding. In fact, because it's dark, I don't like shooting at night because you can't see anything. I keep getting comments of turn up your gamma. <laughs> I'll come back in the morning. Alright, it's so morning. And I'm just deleting those pillars I placed wrong.
the scaffold in again. I think this may be the last time I need to extend it. What do you think? I'm gonna I'm probably gonna go for three long hatch hatchways. shape for the tile. The tile's dug out of it. Right. Don't need those. to the top. Now, this is the hunting ground, or my main hunting ground, down here. So it's a lot shorter distance for me to go to go to the river. Where's that old dog running from? So I need a tech stego. Still need to breed those. So the river's just over there. Spino River. Hunting camps here. I'll probably be able to delete this now. Yeah, in fact I will. I'll just delete that because my base is so close now. Close to the mine, it's exactly the same space. I've got more crystal so I can get that faster. I need that pink gas extractor though. Not seen one of those around here. Anyway, let's continue. enough for my main base. I might go one more so I can keep dinos in there. Because the other plan I wanted, the reason why I'm building it on pillars like this, uh, let me just go back to the old base. Feeding your dinos is a pain in the butt. I think we can all agree on that. When they're all spaced out like this, when this is all filled up, you've got to have a feeding trough there, put another one in the house, another one there in the middle, another one to feed for herbivores. So what I'll do is build a stilt base, one on pillars, To it. So we can say have all the big dinos down the bottom, then above it 
have another row of dinos back in the middle maybe here then on top of it have another lot of dinos but in the middle have one or two feeding troughs right in the middle back here so you only have to fill one feeding trough up to feed all the dinos and that's the reason why I'm building a pillar base so it can be easily looked after by one person you don't have to run around feeding all the feeding troughs up which is a pain in the butt it's like okay it's like the idea it's a good day it's good okay let's build down if I can get it to work I'm sure I'll be able to So if this idea works, then single players will be able to copy the idea and look after all the dinos without running around all the time. And filling up troughs. Build the pillars down. Those trapdoors, the only pain in the butt is that when you're walking over them, you kind of bug a bit. But don't worry, the devs will not be fixing that. <laughs> so it build, builds two out from the edge of where the pillar is again build down build two tiles in go oh, that was a complete overshoot not easiest to control in short distances and that'll do for today. So let me know guys what you think I should do. Extend it out a ceiling each side. Then I can have like a box of air cons in the centre. Put all the eggs in and hatch all the other normal dinos and the drakes at the same time. I'm going to go for three. So at least I didn't waste that. But oh, looks like I'm going to need more mining. If I do extend it, I'm going to, it's going to be a bit painful to delete those. But if you're learning, it's all good. All right, let me know, guys. Keep it as one single ceiling, or extend it to three. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. There's links to my other videos at the end. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.